free and the host tonight. But Jesus says, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. And sometimes, so even some things come out of our mouth. Anything ever come out of your mouth that scare you? And you wonder where you come from? Hello? Sometimes your own mouth reveal something in your heart and you frighten. Hello? Sometimes it just remind you that you know really they where you think you day. Because something come out of your mouth and you say, oh, where did that come from? Like a burp. Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speak. It's interesting to me sometimes, and you may still do it now, but before time you go to the doctor and the first thing they tell you, they say, say ah. And then look down. Ah, young people in here. Before time you go to the doctor, they first they had a little wooden stick on Marie. And you go to the doctor and they say, say ah. And they look down your throat to see what's wrong with your heart. You know how we work. <laughs> you know, but first, say ah. And they say, yes, you have a kidney problem and all that. See, but the mom. <laughs> Somehow the mouth can indicate what's going on on the inside. The marvels of this body. Right? Out of the abundance of what you think ultimately is going to work its way out of your mouth. You have to begin to add it. I remember when I went and got my license, um, I got my license late, grew up a little challenging in life, many of us, and I got my license late in life. And I remember rode my bicycle, transport board, did the test, passed the test, rode my bicycle back to transport board um, to get my license. It's so good in this Christian walk when you can stand up and you know you praise God in every season of your life. Because some people can only praise God when things are good. But I know I have walked to church. I have ride bicycle to church. And you can't tell no difference because me sing a hallelujah to the Lord anyhow. Amen. And in getting my license, I went home. I was living, I was renting a house with a gentleman, me and Kevin, Kevin Blake, my good friend. And um, I went home and he had to tell Kevin, I play it off like a joke. I said, hey, Kevin, boy, I'm get my license. But I said, but boy, when me get on car? And Kevin said, boy, if God give a license, God can't give a car. Chairman. I'm going to say, boy. And I said, boy, you know, I, I look back at that conversation and I realize even though I play it off in a little joke now, I didn't have faith for a vehicle. Because every month, what money you make, just go for pay rent, go for pay bills. And I really didn't have faith for a car payment, for pay gas, no, nothing. My faith wasn't there yet. And that lack of faith in there come out my mouth in a joke. Oh, but when me get a car, Kevin rebuke me. Make me know God can't give you a car, man. I say, what? I know if God bless me with vehicle, pay off a vehicle. What a good God. But sometimes you have to listen to yourself too because that fear inside, even though it possesses a little joke, it comes from somewhere. It comes from in here. That fear and lack of faith came out. But thank God Kevin found it and put me in my place and make me know, Chaman, God can give a vehicle. Amen? 